Scott Menzel, Hollywood Critics Association. Michael, I'm so super excited to talk to you today. Hi, Scott. Nice to meet you. My wife and I watched the movie last night, and I got to say, uh, first and foremost, thank you for, for sharing your story. I thought it was really beautiful and uh, very emotionally powerful. Thank you for saying that. No problem. I, I guess one of the things that I noticed as soon as the, the credits started to roll was that you didn't write the film. There was there was actually two other people involved with that. Um, and I actually think I would like to lead with that. Why did you allow someone else to write this story instead of yourself? Well, it was a conversation that I had with Jim when he initially uh, expressed interest in optioning the book um, about what what the what the best way to tell this story was, you know, and um, I think we all sort of came to an agreement that we we were interested to see how someone else was sort of going to interpret the book um, and what someone else could sort of bring to this story in a in in, in a way that made it cinematic. At the same time, um, I w was never far from the process of of writing the script or of making this movie. I was very involved every step of the way, uh, and. Uh, and I, and I made that clear early on that I was going to be hands-on. Whether I wrote the script or not, I was going to be very involved in telling the story. And I think that that shows throughout the movie. Um, there's so many interesting points I want to kind of bring up, and I know we're not going to be able to get to all of them. But one of the things that really kind of stood out to me, um, I have a lot of friends in the gay community. I think I should be very open about that. Um, I'm a big advocate as well for LGBTQ. And I wanted to talk about that whole idea of the fat kid syndrome that you you talked about with uh, Jim Parsons and him kind of having that reveal when they're going to get intimate for the first time. I think this is probably one of the first times that I've actually seen that being brought up in a movie that I can remember. Can you talk a little bit about that and how important it was to include that in this story? so important because um, I feel like it informs so much of uh, my and, and, and Michael's in the movie, his, his behavior um, and also his fear, so much of his fear about entering into this relationship with Kit was about his body image issues. Um, and I, it feels weird me talking about these characters in a third person. It's me, but um, it was in, it was incredibly important. Um, and and I agree, it isn't something that we see in entertainment often, uh, especially in in gay movies um, or movies about a gay relationship. Uh, the insecurities around um, body image—it's very real. Yeah, I think that's what was so refreshing about it is that you know, you're always kind of viewing as like the hot shirtless guy, right? That's sort of like the thing that is always kind of put front and center with movies like this and to sort of see that moment of realness. And I think it was just so many things about you. I, I, I mean, We'll talk just like it's it's you, right? Like with the yeah. whole Smurf thing of like, you know, that thing, like kind of you see my wall back here. I'm a total nerd too. And I have so much crap like this in my house and my wife just accepts it. Um, yeah. You know, like it's just like all this stuff that makes it so authentic and real. And it's not just kind of like this fantasy, but this true story. And I just... I don't know. I just I can only imagine what it means to someone in the gay community who's watching this and really feeling seen. But just even to me watching this, I'm like, oh, my God, this is not a stereotype. This is real people. And it's so beautiful. Well, and when I wrote the book and when I set out you know, to uh, this movie process, it was always about I, it was important to me to show the imperfections and flaws of these characters and the realness of these characters. Not that Smurf collecting is an imperfection or a flaw, but um, I think there's sometimes a tendency to sugarcoat some of these aspects of relationships. And, you know, in my Smurf collecting was a source of conflict. Uh, and I think it's a very relatable source of conflict. You know, when, when you two people find each other and then suddenly you're, you have to compromise a lot of things, including your sense of style and your belongings. And, and that's not an insignificant issue. A hundred percent. Well, listen, um, they're telling me the wrap, but I want to thank you again. Uh, this is a great film, very powerful. And I really hope that this, this finds an audience and thank you again for sharing your story with us. Thank you.